Hello and welcome to Perfect TV Arts, August 2015, and our summer special. I'm Tim Matthews. And because Burford is in the throes of welcoming 25,000 cyclists through the village, it's Ride London weekend. As we record, TV Arts thought this was a great opportunity to leave the studio and get on the crew bike. So here we are. As the cyclists rush by, we're going to take a leisurely trip back in time to when steam trains ruled the permanent way. You'll remember in our spring edition, we visited the Phoenix Cultural Center in Woking. And among several performers, we met Greg Freeman, reading from his new collection of poems entitled Train Spotters. I got up to go. She stayed on for all the shots. It's good to talk, she said, by way of saying goodbye. Such was your reaction to his poetry that we decided to dedicate our summer special to his collection. We commissioned Richard John to direct a short video and Matt Davis to compose some music. We also got the Brian Trenary archive to find us some trains. So here's Perfect TV Art's take on Greg Freeman's delightfully nostalgic collection of poems, Train Spotters. He waits for the train that will never come. On tracks run wild, reclaimed by meadow browns and speckled woods, that uncanny sense makes him start up. Certain he hears the drum of faraway wheels on rails, long lost sounds whistled through reeds, conclusive evidence. We hear the grunt and bark of a dragon crawling from the mountain's heart, a grumbling volcano. Clattering down from Todmorden to Hebden Bridge takes seven minutes, three tunnels and one viaduct. Sandwich munching, tea swilling anoraks. They say we seek refuge in regulations and timetables. The permanent way exclamation mark chimneys punctuate and remind the valleys. Apartments, retail outlets, hockneys housed in the magnet's mill. Healthy homes for workers paying market rents, snapped up by young professionals. We hear the hills weeping. We came there each spring, scuffling in the coal yard, picking primroses by the side of the line, watching smoke until it disappeared. Looked for a way from the driver and fireman, counted the token number of passengers. Two carriages hauled by tank engine scurried past lambs, herons, kingfishers, 
struggling to make the junction connection, tracking the river down to the sea. Crude economics of combustion. Farewell to wishful thinking. Efficiency. So beaching saw off Sir John Betjeman. In days of white heat, there was only one winner. From progress to ruin to heritage, the last time I booked a return. <laughs>